Ashes. I'm Mahalia Simpson. And I'm Moana Ete. This week we're coming at you from wonderful Wellington. Here's what's coming up on Fresh Today. Right now I'm touring with Flight My Pretties. On this tour it's Tiki Tane, there's Lawton Cora. I'm naming all the brownies now. I'm Rare Hall. Well, how do you make your substitute? I like to add coffee. Wow. It wakes everyone up yeah. after they die from eating your one. Out here is the Avavarua Passage. So come with me and I'll show you my version of Rara. So how do you keep it fresh? Well, when I was little, me and my older brother Manea, we used to mock our grandma because she used to use Vicks for everything, like yeah. not just for when you had a cold. But now I use Vicks for everything. Like if I have a headache or something, I'll take a little bit and just like rub it on my temples. It's really nice. Wow, that is pretty fresh. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what else is fresh? Yep, these guys are the Waka Ama Nationals. Keep it fresh. fresh about paddling Wakahama is uh, the different cultures that are here. Hey, look at everybody it's from as far north as Paitaha and Pawaringa, and then all of the fresh kazis from Auckland, all the way down to the, to the kazis from down south. Tui Tonga Canoe Club is based in Mangere Bridge. We are a Tongan club, but we're open to everyone to come paddle with us. For us, it's, it's a connection back to our ancestors. You know, they, they traverse the, the South Pacific Ocean on outrigger canoes, and we're just trying to we're just trying to use it as a vehicle to, to come together, to acknowledge our culture, and to improve in our life bit by bit. So um, we're based in Auckland, uh, training our local cookie. Team Tanifa. Matthew Ridge. Oh, the oldest member, old Matt, Matty Ridge. Yeah, yeah, he's, he's good, bro. He's good. Um, goes hard, trains hard, and um, plays hard, bro. Something different than being on the rugby field or in the gym. I've never seen so many 50 plus year olds with muscles, big muscles. I guess it's just catching up with all your mates from all over the country. I think there's something that happens to us uh, Polynesians, Māori, Aharane, when we are sitting on the water. You know, it's good for the mind and the soul. Kia kaha, kia maia, ana, kia mana wanui. Hoia! Clothing that we absolutely love to wear. So here's how one of our beautiful poly sisters, Jara, rocks her threads. What I speak about, how I dress, what I'm eating, the places I go, and that sort of thing. I just want everything to be as magnified as possible in a world that's telling me to be small. <laughs> My name is Jara Ray Jawasasala. I am Fijian and New Zealand European. I am from West Auckland and I am a performance artist. I see my physical presentation as a trailer for my work. I was kind of instinctually drawn to rituals and things that made me feel centered and connected. And one of those things was adorning or painting my face. I do it every single morning and it's meant to um, 
focused me first and it's meant to remind me of the umbilical cord between the gods and me and the earth and the plane that's in the middle. I get a lot of people looking at me strange sometimes, but it just proves that I'm doing the thing I'm supposed to be doing. I think my favorite item of clothing in whatever manifestation is a black suit jacket. Things like, you know, boxed suits and big boots that kind of make me feel like I'm going into war every day, which you kind of are. <laughs> Grace Jones forever, like. <laughs> I just really challenge Pacific women to disrupt space and put themselves in the spaces that are afraid of them. My advice is that just affirming that you are enough. You come from a long line of incredible people who are moving the earth to get somewhere. Just connect and don't be afraid because the world's never going to be ready for you, ever. Don't go anywhere, guys, because we got what you need. Coming right up. Scallops are pretty tricky. They move around a lot, and they camouflage themselves in the sand. I'm going to get a good knife. And there is your scallop. Cond. Ants. Cond. Ants. How are you, mate? Good. Uh, do you pack your own pack? Oh, yeah. Do you know the contents of your bag? Yeah, I was uh, push it all down to make it fitted inside. Uh, yeah, we've got a $500 worth in this bag. Can you please uh, put him through to the manager? Yeah, just walk on through, mate. Welcome back to Fresh from the O4. I'm Moana Ete, and right now, I want to share with you a little bit of my world. I made a mud and stardust. I'm a singer, songwriter, and I'm also an actress. Born and bred in Wellington. I love that it's just somewhere that you can be yourself, and you, you also trust that other people, you're getting, like, authentic versions of other people that you meet too. So it's really nice to live in a city that encourages that. Thoughtless is the wind, heartless is the cold. Merciless, merciless, give me something I can hold when... Right now I'm touring with Fly My Pretties, kind of a super band. Countless are the chalices of lilac wine. On this tour it's Tiki Tane, there's Lawton Cora. I'm naming all the brownies now. I'm Rhea Hall. It's a really cool group, lots of girls. Just the best people. It's so much fun. Passion, compassion, this time is gifted to the young and I am. Acting comes easiest because the words are all written for you already. You just learn it and then say the words. <laughs> no need for drama school. No need for three years of drama school. Just say the words. I'm not going to be in a relationship with a little boy who goes around town measuring the size of I went to New Zealand drama school. Our class was, we were very lucky. There were a whole bunch of us. And we're all kind of like a gussy or like we have like a quarter or something. And to be able to be able to explore that in drama school, because, you know, at the end of the day, sometimes we're going to be cast because, or not cast because of that. You can hold my hand if you want to, we can Our relationship with our own culture then defines how we're going to actually take on someone else's culture and, and play a Mexican or play Puerto Rican. Say you take a second when we'll probably take our night. Let's go to If it were a case of nurture versus nature, I think it definitely is nurture. I grew up with music, arts, expression all around me. $35 for one foot. My dad and all this work that he did um, with Laughing Samoans. Um, with my grandma loves to be in front of people and speak so eloquently and she's always so charming and being around that made it okay for me to be like that in front of other people to um yeah not be afraid to yeah just be myself Seems like every second waiting. no matter what i'm doing or what what project i'm working in i always kind of exploring what it is to be a strong woman <laughs> daytime 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 Sweet time. You're holding me, you're holding me. Well, 
I just finished this body of work, an album called Platonic Romantic, and I think in that album I was exploring like relationships and romantic love and also relationships in platonic love. And it's something that I've grown up with this idea of fair nainga. So it's like being brotherly and sisterly with each other and that that's sort of like where we start. I think everything that I do and say is like a representation of um, me and how I grew up in my culture. And I'm, I'm so proud of that. You know, I can't, I can't really help it. So not that I intentionally do it, but I, but I know that it is, that my culture is a big part of what I write, um, no matter what that is and no matter what genre I, I'm exploring at that time. Keep it fresh, traveling. Oh my God, I love island food, which is why I can't wait for what's coming up next. From the sea to the table, this is how we roll. This is Coco Cooking. Here you go. Scallops are quite a gourmet kai to impress the whanau. Hey, we're at the beautiful Opito Bay, one of the best spots to die for them. We got the kayaks ready, so let's go. Scallops, also known as tepa and mouldy, live out on the ocean floor. They can be out quite far and deep, so that's why we're using our tanks today, going out scuba diving. Scallops are pretty tricky. They move around a lot, and they camouflage themselves in the sand. Scallops is 20, so don't be greedy. Leave some for the alifano and leave them for the seeds so they can clean up and do the job. So I'm gonna shark a scallop that we just caught. I'm gonna get a good knife, one of these wood bone ones. Hold the scallop so the curved edge is in your palm of your hand. Slide your knife and you're gonna crack the shell. Make sure you got everything off it. And there is your scallop. And she's good to go. Scallops are best simple. The only way I like to eat them is with garlic butter. So that's how we're going to be doing it today. So we're going to be putting that on first with a scallop at a time. Searing them on each side for a maximum of 20 seconds. It's going to be beautiful and delicious. We're going to be serving it in our beautiful ocean-made scallop shells, um, a little bit of sprinkle of seaweed for a garnish. Cheers, fresh. <laughs> Love native food, cocoa cooking. I would never over-promise and under-deliver. So, after the break, we've got everything your heart could desire. Keep it fresh. People say we like to eat and have a fizzy. Yeah. Well, this is all in one. It's all in one. Yeah, you don't have to eat and look for fizzy drink. Yeah, it's all in here. Recurring. Recurring. Hello. Oh, hi. Are you guys here? I'll catch you soon. All right. Hey, where are you guys going? Recurring to the mall. Oh, can I come? No. Stay here, do the dishes, finish your homework, and clean my room. Meow. Do it well, fast, die young, bad girls. Do it well, fast, die young, bad girls. Do it well. My chain hits my chest when I'm banging on the dash. But my chain hits my chest when I'm banging on the radio. Back. Welcome back to Fresh. I'm Mahalia Simpson. And I'm Moana Ese. And we're coming at you from what? We've all got one, one of those aunties who always loves to gossip about everybody. Here's what Mischief, one of our favourite aunties, has been up to. Here's Faika Kala. Hi. Hi. 
little one. Oh, everyone can't wait to eat my sub suey. You know how I make the... What's that? It's super suey, what's that? This is super suey. It doesn't look like super suey. Super suey is not supposed to be green. There's a different type of sub suey, that's why. Oh, is it gone off? No, it's because it's all about the environment, that's oh. why. Oh. Plus, everyone likes mountains because it's got a, it's a very distinctive taste. It's right? got a very distinctive smell as well. Oh. Uh, I don't think it's a sub suey. Oh, how do you make your sub suey? What sort of lili are you using? I use the lili from Sushua. But I use the, you know, the Lungkau one? Is it from your family? The well, cow family? Your one looks like a cow. You know, Pastor's going to choose the best one, and he really likes, you know, innovation. Is that right? Yeah. I knew. So that's why I'm going to do something different. OK. I don't know if you'll be into this, because I'm kind of innovative with my one. I like to add coffee. Wow. Because, What's that? Because it wakes everyone up. Yeah. After they die from eating your one? The smell alone will wake you up from your one. Okay. Yeah. Well, also, what I like to do is uh, I add a bit of uh, kale. Oh, what does kale do? Yeah. And what it's do is that it brings the elastromical. Yeah. It comes here to the leafy part. Right. So that it, all the bad things will just leave you alone. Yeah. Makes your whole body just feel like a ballet dancer. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Well, sometimes I use hundreds and thousands because I want hundreds and thousands of people to like it. It's impossible. OK. I like to use mandarin. Oh, yeah, what yeah. does that do? This is one of their favorite teas over in mandarin. Really? Yeah. Mandarin? Yeah. I like to add um, some corned beef. Corned beef, wow. Yeah. It's only in a small can, so there's oh. only like, you know, it's for those who are watching their weight. Go what? up, yeah. Yeah, that's right, and their wow. heart rate also go yeah, up as well. Wow. You know, people say, we like to eat and have a fizzy. Yeah. But well, this is all in one. Two in one. Yeah, you don't have to eat and look for fizzy drink. Yeah, it's all in here. So it's going gonna, it's gonna to be delicious. OK. Mm, cool. Right, I think it's time for a taste test. A what? I reckon you should go first. Yeah, OK. Yeah, that, yeah. No, but we should go like age, you know, older. And I'm younger, so. We'll go together. OK, let's go okay, together. Ready? OK, ready? You know what? Yeah. This is good McDonald's. Yeah, huh? I want to go big up Okay. Yeah, you want, yeah. It's that time of the week again to check in with one of our Polly peeps as they discover this wonderful world of us. Here's this week's Polly postcard. You're gonna need a bigger chainsaw to cut me down. Kia ora na, and welcome to Rarotonga. I'm Talisa, I'm 26 years old. I work as a lawyer in the Crown Law Office. When I'm not busy in court, then I usually like keeping outdoors, being active, being in or on the water. Out here is the Avavarua Passage. It's my first time at this passage, so I'm really excited. I usually go down to a passage further along. So come with me and I'll show you my version of Raro. You probably wouldn't want to go out on your own, go with a group of people or people that have experience out there. It just gets a bit dangerous with the tides and the current, so that's why we're going early morning, because we've got to make sure we go as close to low tide as we can. I enjoy paddle boarding because it requires focus and you've got to be really balanced when you're out there. Get a bit of a workout with your arms and it is quite therapeutic and peaceful um, when you go out alone, you know, heaps of thinking time and it just relaxes the mind. So another thing I enjoy doing is coming out on the boat with a group of friends, throwing a few lines over, doing some fishing, going for a swim. Yeah, these are the types of things that we do to relax out here in the Cook Islands. Um, caught this tiny little tuna. You know, if it was me that caught it, it would have been much bigger. 
<laughs> so Eva's just going to start filleting the fish now. Basically taking off the skin first. You don't really need to take the fillets off. You have that raw power, you just pull off the skin. <laughs> there we go. Just got to be a little bit careful when catching some of these fish. Once they break the surface area of your skin, if you don't wash them out properly, you end up in hospital. Tuna is my favourite fish to eat raw. With soy sauce, it goes really well, but I don't think we have any on the boat this afternoon, so... Mmm. You show me how to love, taught me how to breathe with your bitty So I'm here with my mate Alana. She's an environmental scientist. As a small island state, we're on the front line of the most adverse effects of climate change. Natural disasters are becoming more and more frequent. We love tourists always coming to our island. It's great. We need to ensure everyone is on the same page. We're looking after our environment, starting with the basics from recycling to simple things from using coral-safe sunblock. That's a key one right there. Yeah, be environmentally conscious in everything that you do. Every little thing helps. It's very important to us. Yeah. Uh -huh. You're gonna need a bigger chainsaw to cut me down. Thanks for hanging out with me in Rarotonga, Freshies. Hopefully see you guys soon. <laughs> so that's it from us this week. We've loved hanging out with you. Here's what's coming up on Fresh. One Love 2017 coming to you all the way from Tauranga Moana. What's up? This is General Fire. I'm Miranda. Yo, let's go. Let's get it. The three are here from Sons of Zom. What's it to shake it? Keep it fresh. Until next week, keep, keep it, it fresh. fresh. Another day, another dollar set. Waking up, waking down when I fly away. Who are you, baby? I never saw you, bro. You're like a brush in my ass. All right. Goodbye to people and why. Play the music and tell me you can. From Jamaica, Sweden, to France. People, I jump on France. It's the source of life. Supporting local content so you can see more of New Zealand on air.